Welcome back to Glitz and Glitter, everyone. So glad you came back today. If you are new here, you're gonna love it. You're gonna learn something and you're gonna wanna watch all my videos. So make sure you're my next binge watcher. <laughs> so today I have another um, special order. And this person, Lori Salazar, this one's for you. You have ordered from me before and I'm so happy to be making you a few more things. Today she wanted this ring holder and she wants it with light purple and some diamond dust. So I'm going to use this resin dye that came in one of my kits from Let's Resin. And I'm going to add this gorgeous diamond dust that I have been using like crazy lately. And she did request that the center where the rings go on be done in some opal. So whoever it was that told me, because I always repackage my glitter into my own containers, who told me to go ahead and put the tag on so I know where I got them, you are a genius. I don't know why I didn't do this before. So this is from Glitzy City. It's called Crushed Pearl. These I got from the dollar store. They were, well, I guess it's a $1.25 store now. There were four for $1.25, and they fit one ounce. Well just over an ounce of glitter. So if you order more than one ounce of glitter, you'll need a bigger jar. This one she ordered prior in, I think it was purples, two color purples. It's the same jar she wants. This is the top and there will be rhinestones put around here and some silver trim. So these are really pretty when they're done. And this time she wants it in hot pink and purple. So these are the two colors I have chose for the hot pink and the purple. And I'm going to use my metallic powder to dust onto the lid because I don't want to use the paint pen again. The paint pen will probably not stay forever, but this will be embedded right into the resin. So I'm going to do one at a time, but I'm going to do them both in this video for you, Lori. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. For the ring holder, I'm going to use the Fast Cure uh, by Let's Resin. It cures in four hours. And if you're new to my channel or you're new to resin, there is tons in the description box. If you want to know how to mix resin perfectly every time, there is a video in there to do that. There's also several other videos that you might be interested in on how to clean your cups so you don't have to wait to cure them. So I'm just going to get this finished mixing up, but yeah, go in that description box. There is so much information, all the products that I use, plus extra products that you might be interested in. So yeah, please give it, give it a try and go in there and see what's going on today. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit, I poured a tiny bit for the center with the opal. I'm just gonna get this mixed up in here. I want it kind of thick with the opal because it will it will sink. And I'm going to put a barely a little bit of this diamond dust in there. Get that mixed up. I'm just going to let these sit on the counter for a little bit to see if I can get some bubbles out of them. This is a thicker resin, so you will definitely have more bubbles than you will with a thinner one. So while I wait, I'm just going to get all my colors mixed and then we'll let them sit. So she wanted light purple, so I'm going to go pretty light on the, the color so you can see the diamond dust too. And just test your color on a paper towel before you pour it. That way you know it's exactly what you want. It always looks darker when you have it in a deep cup. And normally I would put my resin through the resiner's bubble bubble remover, but this thicker resin, see that, that still looks clear. This thicker resin doesn't get all the bubbles out, so I'm not going to put it through. I'm just going to let them rise to the surface. Let's 
See, that's light purple. I'm not going to put any more in. It's pretty light. Plus, I want to be able to see this diamond dust, which, like I said, this stuff goes a long way. So don't overdo it. If you've seen prior videos of mine, I have overdone it, and I've had to empty it out and start over again because it just, it was so much. Almost perfect, it's almost to the top. This I'm gonna do slow and I'm going to just get it down into the corners because I don't want bubbles to happen. And the nice thing about this diamond dust is it will hide bubbles too. We just don't want them forming on the edges. So I am going to tap it down before I fill it up. You just want to take a stick or something. Get it. You can kind of see through this mold. Actually, I need a little more because it's not all the way around the edge. But get it all the way around the edge. Get your bubbles out. And then pour the rest slowly. I measure all my molds with water before I pour. Sometimes I make a little bit more just in, if it's a new mold, but this one's not a new mold, so I know it's going to hold three ounces. I'm hoping all that opal stays where I put it. Again, just go around, make sure everything is bubbleless. And then we'll get this one finished up and get curing. perfect amount. Now I'm just going to take my 99% alcohol spray and spritz the top. And we're going to let this one start setting while I get the other one ready. Let's get started with the lid. This part here and here I'm going to brush with this metallic silver and it does come out really really beautiful when it comes out of your mold with the resin on there. It's like a bar of silver. I just love this stuff. Again, everything is linked in my description if you want any of this stuff. Just make sure you clean it good before you move on because I'm going to have to somehow get, get it clean inside there where that little lid is. If you have to touch up with a silver paint pen, that's a little different. But this should, hopefully, because it's really hard to see in there, hopefully this will go in everywhere I want it to. Okay, we will set that aside and mix up some resin. Now this one I'm not going to use a fast cure. I don't want it too thick. 
So I'm just going to use the new pump resin from Let's Resin. So it's already calibrated and each pump is 10 milliliters. So I'm going to get, get these pumped out into a cup. I'll be right back. I did a tutorial a couple days ago. If you didn't see it on the pump resin, you should check that out, especially all you resiners out there who have trouble with your hands. This is a great way, or even your eyes, if you can't see these little numbers on these cups, this is a great way to measure resin without having to be able to see perfectly or be able to use your hands perfectly, yet you can still resin. So yeah, check that tutorial out. It was just a couple days ago. I've split it into two cups, so we're just going to get some color in here and get it poured. Well, this resin is 24 hour resin. This is not the fast cure because it's almost impossible not to get bubbles in this mold because of so many crevices. So I did not want such a thick resin to be poured in there. So that's why I chose their normal 24 hour. So be, yeah, be aware of what resin you're using for what project because it really can impact what you're doing. Looks pretty good. Nice and opaque. Yep, let's get the purple. Make sure your sides are scraped really well. Get all that pigment powder off. If you want to make your own pigment paste, again, there is a video on my channel how to do that and you don't have to use powder. Use the powder to make the paste. Then you don't have to worry about all this powder being dissolved in your resin. So that is a good option to do. I did pick up a bunch more jars at the Dollar Tree empty and I am going to make a bunch more of my own pigment paste. That was probably a week or two ago. If you're in my channel, you'll find it. It's pretty easy how to do it. I'm going to pour the lid purple. I'm not going to try to combine the colors. I'm just going to squeeze that or put a stick down either one to make sure there's no bubbles forming on the heart. Get any bubbles out of there. You can even like tap it on the counter if you have to. Now it will take a little more. I'm just gonna set it aside so I can put more in it without moving it later. Now on this one, I'm just going to kinda, she wanted it swirled together. So I'm just gonna kinda pour it in zigzag directions, I think, and just go opposite. Let me just get that over there.
Everything's ready to unmold. I used the extra for a few little things. I remember the last time when she ordered, she wanted one of these made. So I just used the extra to make her another one in pink. So we'll just get this little stuff out and then we'll get to the main event. This is just a little stand to hold whatever. Something on display. Okay. And two little magnets, well, three, two little ones and one large one. I did take it and I put it all together, but you're seeing mostly, mostly purple. There's pink mixed in there somewhere. And then this one was mixed together as well. Oh, that one came out better. Cute. So let's start with this one being it's one piece. Some of the opal glitter did kind of float to the bottom, which I guess is expected. Sorry, I just like to get these back in there form before I move on and forget so I don't ruin my molds. Okay, here we go. Oh good, it did stay there. I was a little worried about it mixing in, but it did stay in the center. There's a few pieces that came out, but heck, it looks good. I think it, mits, it fits the brief of purple and glittery with an opal center. Bottom needs a little bit of trim just so it's not sharp, but other than that, I don't see any bubbles in this thing. Awesome. Okay, let's get the lid out. It's been about 24 hours. This one is a little tricky. You don't want to break the top heart off. And of course, my alcohol is again in the other room doing a river pour. So I get to struggle. All right, got it. That looks pretty good. I did get a little of silver. I know it's impossible to clean that off completely, but this silver is now embedded into the resin. So now it won't rub off on her. So that's gonna go on the top like that with some glue. And I'm pretty sure this is either, I don't think it matters. Oh, this is probably the bottom seeing that the lip is there. So let's start with the bottom. are not easy to get out. Little pieces of resin stuck. Guys, this is really difficult. I'm going to get these out off camera and then I'll show you the reveal. That was tough. That was tough, but it came out good. It doesn't look like a controlled pour. Everything is swirled together nicely. The inside looks great. Now for a closer look. I don't see any bubbles. I mean, there could be some on these when there always is. And the bottom, or this is the top actually, so this will go like this. I'm gonna get my silver pen out and I'm gonna paint all these pieces and put the rhinestones in. But I think it came out pretty good. The inside is beautiful, nice and swirly. 
So let me grab my pen and we'll get going on that stuff. So I will fast forward this, but I'm just showing you these rope designs are the things that we get and these circles here. Now these circles always have bubbles in them. It's unavoidable. There's no way. Then there's a little circle here and I'm just going to follow this. So I'm going to get these all painted and then in these little holes right here, there's the rhinestones get glued into there. So we're going to get let me get this all done. I got that all done. Now I'm going to be putting the little rhinestones in. Now I did use my little micro brush and a little bit of alcohol. I had a couple tiny little spots I slipped with the pen so that took that off. Got the rims done. So I'm just going to take my little bottle. I think this is called Fusion, Liquid Fusion or something. I'll have to, I'll put the link below. Of course this bottle is clogged so I need to get it to come out again. It does have a needle tip but sometimes that doesn't work either because I don't clean it as every time I use it so now I just took the needle off. So we're just going to take a little tiny bit of this glue, stick them in the hole, my wax pen to grab these and then we're going to let these sit until it's dry So if you guys haven't seen this mold yet, it does come with these little rhinestones. It comes with a ton of them, like a ton. There's probably 100 or 200 of them in there, like more than you'd probably ever use. So um, I'm going to let this one dry. I'll get this top done and then we will glue the top on. So I was right, it was called Liquid Fusion. The only place I could find it was Amazon. I've, I've never found it in a store. I don't know why they don't carry it, but they don't. So I'm gonna take this top piece and my E6000, and I'm gonna put a nice big dab of it on the top because I don't want this coming off. A little bit on there. Once you press it on, don't touch it till it's dry. You don't wanna move it. So that's nice and attached. Everything is going to dry and then I will get you final some final photos. Okay, here's the finished product. The lid is on and secured. I did a little touch up painting. Here's the bottom. I trimmed the bottom so it's not sharp. Everything is dry. The lid does go on one way. See that little piece right there? It fits into this piece right here. But there is the inside. I hope you're happy with it, Lori. Let me grab your other piece. And here's the other piece. I hope you guys all have a blessed day. I hope you've, I've inspired you to do something new. 
You guys all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!